Enthesitis is inflammation where the tendons and ligaments attach to bone. It is frequently seen in children in enthesitis-related arthritis, spondyloarthropathies, and early ankylosing spondylitis. There are multiple entheses that one can push on. The more important ones seem to be these. First, the inferior border of the patella, right at 6 o'clock. One pushes upward on the inferior border, not down on the, inferior, the infrapatella tendon itself, but upward on the entheses. So you can see here the patella, one pushes up. You can also palpate borders of the patella. Sometimes tenderness is observed at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, sometimes all the way around the patella. The tibial tuberosity, you palpate up the shin until you hit right on top of the tibial tuberosity itself. This can also be tender in Osgood Schlatter's disease. The greater trochanter is palpated and directly over the trochanter itself, the tenderness is ascertained right there. The plantar fascial insertion, first one palpates the calcaneus as a control point and then you push downward on the plantar fascial insertion itself along the vector of the tendon, right that way. The metatarsal heads are palpated individually and you have to push again along the vector of the plantar fascia, so you push upward right on the insertion, not on the joint, but on the insertion of the plantar fascia. The Achilles tendon is palpated and then the insertion of the Achilles tendon can be ascertained uh, by pushing right at the entheses right there downwardly. And one can push fairly hard on these entheses around the calcaneus. The calcaneus itself should not be tender, but the insertion will be right there. First locate the dimples of venous and then go down to the SI joints to locate SI joint tenderness. One needs to push upward a little bit on the SIs, the way that they are built. Right there is the dimples of venous at the posterior superior iliac spine and then locate the SI joints and push upwardly. Dimples of venous, SI joint, SI joint. If you elicit a verbal complaint of pain or withdrawal, as shown here, it is grade 2. Mild pain is grade 1, and no pain is 0. Lower back mobility is ascertained by the modified Schober's examination. You locate the dimples of venous and mark a line at the superior border. Then you measure a line 10 centimeters up and 5 centimeters down, trying to keep the tape along the skin line as, uh, as much as possible. You do this in the erect position, and this 15 centimeter segment that you have now marked, once they bend forward, should expand to more than 21 centimeters. In this patient, you can see that she measures 22 centimeters, or normal. Careful examination of the entheses is an important part of the physical exam of any child complaining of musculoskeletal pain. Otherwise, children with enthesitis will go unrecognized and untreated.